Hello, good evening. Well, hi, Nelson. Hello, so are you at work? No? Yes, I... Yes, okay, yeah, I remember that you sent a message. Okay, thank you. So, good evening, Rafael. Good evening, Raul. How are you? I'm fine. You're fine? Good evening, teacher. Excellent. Yeah. So, how was your day? Uh, so, so no, a little, relaxed. a little well. Yeah, a little yes. relaxed. It was relaxed. Okay. But today, I don't know <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> yes, well, at least today was relaxing. That is good, right? So I think that you need to take advantage of those days, right? <laughs> so very good. Well, I can see that we have Rosa del Carmen. We also have Edwin. Good evening, guys. Okay. So, well, today we are going to start with the following, okay? So welcome once again. Okay, welcome to our third class. This is the third day. So we are going to start with uh, today's agenda, okay, uh, with the agenda. So we have uh, the warm up. We also have a speaking time. We have grammar. And today we are going to cover um, vocabulary uh, related to the restaurant industry. Okay, so we also have a speaking time. We have grammar quizzes. We have the listening quiz. We have a game at the end. And then we have the end of the class. So as a warm up, we are going to have this tongue twister. Okay, so when, um, or let me ask you this guys, why do you think tongue twisters are necessary for us? Why? Well, the tongue twister uh, are necessary because uh, facilitan soltar la lengua. All right, excellent. So they help us, right? So they help us to improve our fluency. Yeah, very good. Yes, and that is correct. So we are going to study this one today, all right? So I'm going to pronounce it twice and then you are going to say it, okay? One by one. So listen to the pronunciation. It goes like this. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where is the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Yeah. So Peter Piper picked, simple past, picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickle, pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? All right? Yeah? So do I have volunteers to start? Who wants to start? Yes, you can do it. All right, yes, you can. Mm -hmm. So let's see, uh, should I pick somebody or do I have a volunteer? Okay, so we're, well, all of you are going to participate, all right? So let's see, we are going to start with, um, let me see, Eulise. Okay, so you go first. Okay. Uh, Peter, 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 a Pick of picker peppers. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, picker of picker of peppers, Peter Peeper Picker. Mm -hmm. If Peter Picker Picker a pick of picker peppers, where is the pick of picker peppers, Peter Picker Pick? I okay. don't know. Okay. I try. Yes. All right. Eulise, repeat after me and say Peter Piper. Uh, Peter Piper. Pick. Pick. A peck. A peck. Of pickle. Of pickle. Peppers. Peppers. 
Okay, now say you alone. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Say it. Peter Piper picked a picker of Peter or picker pipers. Peppers. 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 Okay. Hmm. okay, now a peck of pickled peppers. A picker of picker peppers. Peter Piper picked. Peter Piper Picker. Picked. Pick. With T at the end, guys, because this one is ED, so the sound, the sound of the T. Picked. Huh. If Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked. A peck of pickled peppers. A, a peck of pickled peppers. Peppers. Uh, peppers. Okay. Where's the peck of pickled peppers? What is the picker peck of picker picket peppers? Peppers. Peter Piper picked. Peter Peter Piper Piper picket. Picked. Pick. Picked. Pick. Very good, okay? <laughs> so, yes, I know. We need to uh, practice it, okay? Don't worry because this yes. is about practicing. This is about practicing, okay? So yes. you need to practice right. more and more and more and you are going to say it perfect. But well done. All right, so okay. let's see who wants to try. Uh -huh. Yes, try. Anna, perfect. Go, Anna. I try. <laughs> Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pe peppers. Mm -hmm. A peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. If Pepper Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Where is the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Almost perfect. Very good, Anna. Okay, so the only thing that we need to improve is fluency. Okay, so you need to try to say it, uh, I would say faster, right? But that, that is going to be with the time, but you need to practice it. Well done. Okay, it was very good. Okay, somebody else that wants to try? Yeah. Rafael, go. Okay. Uh, Peter Piper Pitch. A peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper pitch. Is Peter Piper pitch a peck of pickled peppers? Where's the peck of pickled pipe pickled peppers? Peter Piper pitch. Perfect. Ah, yes. yes, very <laughs> good. Okay, it was kind of difficult. Yes, I know, but well done. Okay, so you did it. Perfect. Okay, somebody else that wants to try. I need two more, two more volunteers. Me teacher. Uh, I hear me teacher, but I don't know. Karen. Karen, okay, yeah, Karen, go. Okay, Peter Piper picked a pick of pickled peppers. A pick of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pick of pickled peppers, where the pick of pickled Peter Piper picked. Peter Piper picked. Okay, yes, well done. All right. Uh, okay, good job. The last person, the last student, just one. Mm -hmm. Nobody? Okay, so I'm going to. I'm going to... Me, maybe I will try. <laughs> Okay, go, Carlos. Go, Carlos. Okay, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter picked a pick. Mm -hmm. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pickle peppers, mm -hmm. with a peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. Okay, almost perfect. Okay, Carlos. Um, some observations, guys, and this is in general. Okay, this is in general. So remember that this one, um, this uh, word, is pepper in this case is plural peppers okay but it is pepper and what is a pepper this is a pepper okay pepper yeah 
pepper. Pickle. Yeah, pickle. And the name of the guy is Peter Piper. Peter is the first name. Piper is the last name. Okay, so Piper. Peter Piper. Okay, so I'm going to ask this tongue twister tomorrow. You need to practice it. Okay, I'm going to ask you tomorrow. So let's see, we are going to start and we are going to start with the conversation time. All right, guys. So let me ask you a couple of questions. Okay, Hostman, all right? Hostman, which is cheaper? Which is cheaper for you, Hostman? Tony Romas or La Pampa? Give me a complete sentence, okay? So give me a complete sentence. Which is cheaper? Tony, uh, Tony Romas or La Pampa, Hostman? Cheaper. Tony, cheaper. Uh, huh? I prefer the la, restaurant La Pampa. Huh? Why? Before, uh, before. Uh, Why? Uh, before, for me, the restaurant La Pampa is the more food, and uh, and the for the preparation, the the food, mm -hmm. and like the brave fats, uh, the 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 eat it. Okay. So before, no, because. Whenever you want to give a reason, no, because. 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 Thank Whenever you. Whenever you want to give a reason, Thank you. All right. So let's see. Um, okay. Let me ask Glenda. Glenda, which is cheaper for you? Mm. I guess that are the same prices. <laughs> okay, they are the same prices. Okay. Yes. Mm, all right, but which is but cheaper? I guess the is more is cheaper uh, La Pampa than Tony Romas. Mm -hmm. Very good. And which one do you prefer? Uh, Tony Romas. <laughs> and why do you prefer Tony Romas? And because there are many places and have the different flavors in the attention to customer is good okay the customer service the okay. customer service is good is good all right perfect uh, Anna Anna which is cheaper pollo campero or don pollo don pollo is cheaper than pollo campero okay so don pollo is cheaper than 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 than, than pollo campero and which one do you prefer it's the same, but I believe that uh, pollo campero, but pollo. it's the same chicken. <laughs> okay, and why do you prefer pollo campero? Uh, because it's, um, maybe uh, the preparation is more carefully Okay. that pollo campero. Okay. Dan, 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 dan. <laughs> yes, very good. Okay, thank you. Susana. Which is cheaper for you, pollo campero or don pollo? I think don pollo is cheaper than pollo campero. Okay, and which do you prefer? I prefer pollo campero. Why do you prefer pollo campero? Because pollo campero have many restaurants. Okay, so pollo campero has. Hmm? Has. Has. Has many restaurants yes. and you can eat in this place. Okay, very good. Excellent. Oh, yeah, that is correct. So Don Pollo, uh, Don Pollo doesn't have any restaurant, right? That is correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, Raul, which is cheaper for you? Pizza uh... or Papa John's? For me, Pizza Hut is cheaper than Papa John's. And which do you prefer? prefer? Uh, I prefer uh, Papa John's. Oh, really? Why? Uh, because, <laughs> because I think it's more healthy it's than healthier? Pizza Hut. And, okay. and uh, the the flavor of the pizza is 
very delicious mm -hmm. than than no is more it's more delicious than the flavor of the pizza hut okay all right so in this case instead of saying more healthy we are going to say healthier okay, okay. healthier healthier very good yeah that is correct wilbur what about you which is cheaper pizza hut or papa john's and which one do you prefer uh, pizza hut is cheaper than papa john's but i prefer papa john's uh, for the flavor for the flavor it's better. Okay. yeah that is correct I, I i agree okay i agree that the flavor is better than uh pizza hut okay yes okay guys so let's continue. Then we are going to learn restaurant vocabulary. Okay, so let me see. Um, Rafael, please help us reading side dish. Then Rosa del Carmen, a starter. Then Blanca, please main course. Um, then Fatima, a snack. Jensi, a drink. And Salvador Bernal, dessert. Okay. So let's see, side okay. dish. Side dish, a serving of a portion of food in addition to the principal food, usually on a separate dish. Excellent. A study. Okay. Yes, we said. Okay. A start a small dish of food that is served before the main course, course of a meal. Perfect. Yes. A main course. Main course. The main course is usually the biggest dish on a menu. The main ingredient is often meat okay. or fish. Thank you, Blanca. A snack. A snack. A snack. A light meal. A regular meal. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I think that the internet connection is not good. Okay. Uh, what about a drink? Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Hello, can you hear me? Okay. I drink uh, a little. Sweet ball? How do you pronounce that word? Sweetable. Sweetable, okay. Okay, a uh, liquid sweetable or swallowing? Swallowing? Mm -hmm. All right, it's provided with, a, with food and drink. Excellent, very good. Dessert? Right. Dessert, a uh, usually sweet course or dish as a pastry or ice cream. Usually serve it at the end of me of a meal. Perfect. Thank you. All right. So, guys, uh, let's see. We are going to see examples of those um different, I would say, um part of the of, of some dishes. All right. So the first thing is the side dish. The side dish is a serving of a portion of food in addition to the principal food, usually on a separate dish. You will see what a side dish is, okay? So, but in Spanish, this is like guarnición, yeah? So then we also have a starter, a small dish of food that is served, served, letter D because it ends ED, simple pass, served, D, right? No served. Served, yeah. So a small dish of food that is served before the main course of a meal. Then we also have main course. The main course is usually the biggest dish, the biggest one, all right, on the menu. The main ingredient is often meat or fish, and of course, chicken as well. Okay, so that is the main course. The main course. A snack is a light meal food eaten between regular meals, all right? So you know what is a snack, right? So then we also have a drink. You know what a drink is. Okay. 
can you hear me? Can you hear me, guys? No, yes. No, no. So I think that they, yeah, the internet connection actually um, is failing, okay? But let's see. So I was explaining, but can you hear me well or no? Yeah, very well. Okay, very good. So then I was explaining that a drink is a li liquid suitable for swallowing, okay? So suitable for swallowing. What is swallow? What is it? Travel? Yes. Uh, well, in this case, eh, beber, okay? Swallow means tragar, right? Yeah? So provided with food and drink. Then we also have dessert, and you know what that is, okay? A usually sweet course or dish as of pastry, pastry, okay? Or ice cream, usually served at the end of a meal. So we have some examples right here. Side dish, mashed potatoes, salad, fries, okay? Starters, tomato soup, fried chicken wings, meatballs. We also have examples of main course, grilled fish, burger, pizza, roasted chicken, spaghetti, okay, calamari, beef stew. Mire eh, la carne guisada, beef stew. Yeah, and then we also have pork ribs, and we also have drinks. Water, Coke, orange juice, red wine, beer, and we also have desserts. Chocolate cake, fruit salad, or ice cream. Yeah, so this is basically what you can order whenever you are in a restaurant, right? Yes, so now let's move and let's focus on the book. Okay, so I need two volunteers. I need uh, someone that is Nancy and someone, uh, Jennifer. Two volunteers. You are Nancy and Carlos, you are Jennifer. Teacher? Teacher? Yes? What is, the, what is the number of that page? Actually, I sent it out at um, a model. That can see it, that's why I'm saying out because I can read. I'll keep it. Okay, Yancy. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me go ahead and get that for you. Give me one minute, okay? Mm -hmm. I think that, that Yancy is probably not talking to us. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Carlos and Susana. Susan is Nancy. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. So what are the new menu items doing? The main fish and ships course are doing great. 99% of people like them. <laughs> then the new lemon cake line is now doing very well. Only two uh, of our customers like it. Let me check the online polls for recent products. Yes, just like you said. It seems the new Nacho Snacks are doing great. 80% of customers like them. Probably. We only have to revise the lemon cake, lemon cake Science, not many people reacted well. Okay, thank you. All right, guys, pronunciation. Okay, first of all, we are going to focus on pronunciation. Okay, there are some um, verbs, okay, that we need to um, make sure you pronounce them correctly. So, for example, this one, how do you pronounce like in the past? Like. Like. like with T. Do you remember about the rules whenever we have verbs in past? Remember that we have different rules for 
regular verbs. So like is not like it, it's going to be liked. Mm -hmm. Liked with T, yeah? And then this one is going to be since, since. If we say science, it is ciencia, but science is, it is spelled in a different way. That is science, okay? But this one is since which means deste, okay, Yancy. So deste, this one, since, right? So now let me ask you something, okay? Let me ask you, have you ever eaten at an all-you-can-eat restaurant? Well, I think that I heard somebody here saying uh, pastaria, I think that that is the name of the restaurant. Yes, Italian food. Yes, okay. Italian food, okay. And what is Papayos your... Too. Papayos as well, right? Uh, also... Pueblo Viejo. Pueblo Viejo, okay. What else? Uh, well, I think that those are the most common ones, right? Where they I have... don't remember uh, Los Cebollines as well oh yes there was a time i think that they did have that mm -hmm. that is correct mm -hmm. so what is your favorite starter whenever you go to a restaurant okay whenever you go to a restaurant which is your favorite starter do you remember what a starter is like for example tomato soup wings right a starter something to start with yeah so in this case what do you like whenever you go to those type of restaurants? Mm -hmm. Is there something in a specific that you really like? Mm -hmm. Tortilla soup. Okay. Nachos. Nachos, yes. So delicious, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So then, uh, let's see. Let's move. And... Let's work on this vocabulary, okay? So we have starters, we have snacks, we have main courses, we have desserts, and we also have drinks, yeah? So as you can see right here, we have a list. We have a list. So from this list, let's see, what are starters from this list? <laughs> let's complete this list. Okay, let me go French. on. Uh -huh. French onion soup. Okay, French soup. Yes. French onion soup. Okay, what else? Let me go ahead and... Okay, this one is done. Okay, what about snacks? What are snacks? Cheese and tomato sandwich. Okay. Uh, well, we have cheese and tomato sandwich. That is a snack? Mm -hmm. No. No. What is cheese and tomato sandwich? A starter. And tomato sandwich? A starter? Are yes. you sure? Okay. Main course. Okay. Mm -hmm. Main course. Okay. Yes, it is a main course. Mm -hmm. Cheese and tomato sandwich. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what about the lemon cake? What is the lemon cake? Dessert. Dessert. Excellent. Dessert. 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 Okay. Lemon cake. What about grilled fish and potatoes? Main course. Main course. Okay. Very good. So this is main course. All right. So what about... Green salad. A starter. A starter? Okay. So, a starter. a starter. All right. What about English tea? Drink. Drink. Excellent. Okay, that is a drink, right? So, what about pink lemonade? 
drink, uh, drink, drink as well. Okay, very good. What about the fruit salad and cream? Mm -hmm. A dessert. Oh, a dessert? Dessert, okay? Dessert. Excellent. Very good. What about the burger? We're missing the burger. Bacon. Yes. Bacon. Or can be a, a, a snack. Okay, it could be a snack. It, de it depends, right? It depends, okay? So we can leave it right there. Okay, it could be a snack. It, de it depends, right? Okay, so I, I I hear my voice. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I, I'm like, okay. Then uh, what else? Oh, the, the uh, Thai chicken and rice. The main course. Main course. Okay, very good. All right. So, do you like uh the lemon cake? Have you tasted this before? Have you tried it? The lemon cake. Yeah. Okay. Very Delicious. good. Yeah. It's it is delicious. Yes. Okay. Have you tasted it before? Okay. Have you tried it? Another uh, way to to ask somebody, right? Have you tried? Have you tried the lemon cake? Okay. This case, uh, like this, the lemon cake. Have you tried, guys? Uh, the French onion soup. Or have you tried onion soup? No, no, I haven't, right? Okay. And have you, in this case, tried the pink lemonade? No. Yes, I, yes, I have. Yes, I have. It is, it is delicious, I think. I think that it's delicious. I have, I have tried, um, well, that was blue blue lemonade and it was at this restaurant i think that was san martin maybe <laughs> have that yes okay very good so now let's move okay let's move and now it's your turn okay so listen to this what you are going to do is that in teams you are going to organize a menu for a fast food restaurant in your city, in San Salvador, or it could be in other, uh, in different cities, okay? You decide with your team, all right? So what you need to do is that you are going to create a menu, all right? And this menu needs to have five categories, five, like this. One, two, three, four, and five drinks, five categories. And what you need to do is that you are going to add um, for each category, three features. That means three type of, of um, in this three, three starters, three snacks, three main courses, three desserts, and three drinks. The name of three and three and three and three and three, like that, all right? So with your team, I need you to please choose a name for the restaurant as well a name for the restaurant, and you are going to create the menu, okay? The menu. So you can do it in a Word document or you can uh, do it on your notebook, okay? Because you are going to present it, all right? You are going to present it. So right now, I will give you around five to six minutes, all right? Five to seven minutes for you to end and finish this um, activity. Do you have any question before we go to different breakout rooms to work on this? Now, you are going to create a chart like this, identically, yeah, like this. And you are going to add the name of the restaurant at the top of this. And you are going to add three starters, three snacks as a team. It's not individually, it's with your team. Okay, so let's go then to different breakout rooms. If you have questions, please ask me, okay? I will um, I will be pending, okay? So give me one second. Yeah. One okay. dish for, for, for cada, cada, cada cosa? Yes, three. 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 Yes, three, three mm -hmm. starters, three snacks, like this, huh? Three, okay? 
That's me. Okay, I, I think that you, Nelson, won't be able to participate in this activity, right? Okay, teacher. Oh, 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 no, Carlos, I was asking Nelson. But I think that Nelson is busy right now. Salvador, did you receive the invitation? Well, yes, well, I don't know. Oh my God. Well, I think that. Salvador? No. Yes, I think that you're having the internet. Okay, I'm having issues with the internet then. Oh, we call the rest of it. Teacher, why I can't share my screen? You cannot? No, I cannot. Um, it's disabled. Let me see. Right now? Right now? Okay, perfect. Okay, a classmate. I'll call the restaurant. Mexican food, maybe? What do you say? Mexican food? Mexican. But the name of the restaurant? So you know? Maybe. Okay, the first one are the starters. Es snack va en después. Snack, main courses, desserts and drinks. Do you have any question? No. I can share my screen. Try now. Yeah, try now. Okay. 
Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Try, fry banana. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Eh, no sé, es que no está habilitada. La... Ahí está, ya está. Es yes. que no está habilitada la función. Sí, no, yes, I know, no está, pero ya. Ok, gracias. Ahorita okay. voy a empezar. Ok. Hola. Pretzels. No, it's pretzel. Ah, pretzel. Mm -hmm. Could be. But in the same. Oh. Well, okay. that's all. It's okay. And later is. Cookies? Uh huh. Okay. okay. Um, With chips of chocolate? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Cookies, and uh, we need one more. Uh, uh, smoothie. Smoothie. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. We have three. And drinks. Coca Cola is the best. <laughs> Water. Coffee. For the bonds. Coca Cola? Coffee. Yes. <laughs> and water? Uh, okay. Coffee and water. Okay. Uh, main courses. Fried chicken. <laughs> it's typical. <laughs> um, Como dessert. Oh, pie. 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 Apple pie. Apple pie. No recuerdo cómo va la pie apple. Sí, no. Eh, solo una E. Apple pie. Bye. Drinks. Bueno. Había una que se me olvidó, pero pongámoslo para hacerlo rápido. La mano. En vez de limón, podríamos poner soda. ¿Qué más? Mm. Eh, dedo de queso como entrada. Dedos de queso. Yes. Yeah. 
Okay, so um, the, the, the translation for the name, it will be cheese stick. That's S, T, no fingers, uh -huh. S, T. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, C, K, S. Now, remove finger and add cheese, but at the beginning, cheese sticks. Okay, cheese. Cheese at the beginning. At the oh, beginning. sorry, 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 sorry. Don't worry. Cheese finger stick. Yes. Oh, no, without finger. Fingering out. Oh, well, no finger, okay. Like okay. that. Okay. Snacks? Yes, ahorita. Okay, okay like snacks. Uh, well, in general, where I, where I go to eat uh, on on the buffet, just they so they keep uh, nachos in general. Okay. Ah, so, uh, so uh, they another in other place they keep uh, onions, uh, uh, fried onions. Okay. And this is like like you say like you say, uh, it depends where you go to with a burgers. Um, how? The main uh, where I go, for example, uh, the main menu if for for kids, they give you a uh, hamburgers with uh, potatoes. Yes, that will be the mm -hmm. main course. I'm very okay. Yes. Um, yeah. in, in hamburgers, sorry, Wilbert, in hamburgers, yes. remove the letter U, the one that goes after G. Remove that one. Delete that one. Here? Yes, delete you. Yeah, like that. Hamburgers. Okay, T. Mm -hmm. Um and on on um on this one on fright yes that one so in that case it's going to be fright that's f r i d e well in this case uh okay uh, i'm going to spell it again okay f r i e B. Right. D. D. Oh, onions. Yes. Onions with N. Onions. W N. Yeah, but one N after O. The, the second O. Onions. Ah, yes, yes. Onions. It could be a key. Uh, no, no, no. Before it, S. Before S, correct. Ah, yes, yes. Sorry. No worry. Onions. <laughs> Onions. It can add rings like like rings como anillo. Okay, onions. Onions ring. 
right onion rings. Mm -hmm. And remove the letter S from onions. Le quita la S en onions porque ya está pluralizando con los rings. Yeah, yeah you're right. Okay, okay, very good. Una uh, crepa. Crepa. Yes. Mm. Mm. For me, it's a dessert. <laughs> uh, it's the red. Okay, yes. yes. Uh -huh. The way that yes. you see it. Yes. Uh -huh. Para mí es? se podría decir que es una entrada porque la, por la cantidad que como es algo sencillo para mí. Ok. <risa> ok. No, no, y también depende, como dijo la, la teacher hace un rato, como los compañeros, ¿verdad? La hamburguesa yes. ahí depende de donde yes. tú hayas ido a comer. Mm -hmm. Ok. So, no, estamos bien. Vaya, entonces, según esa experiencia, de snacks. Yes. What did you eat? Mm. Mm -hmm. A sweet snack, uh -huh. a sweet snack, because you have added salty, natural, mm -hmm. like onion rings, now sweet, uh -huh. very good. Okay, but what do you eat like a main course? Okay, did you finish? Yes, teacher. You finished? Really? Yeah. Okay, give me one minute, okay? So I'm going to, the other ones are still working on that. Give me one minute, okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Do you think ceviche, ceviche, it was a star? Star, no sé cómo es. A starter? Starter. There. Let me see. Potato soup, onion rings. Onion rings. Yeah, the other way around. Uh -huh. Onion rings. Okay. Yes. Okay. Green salad. Okay. Uh, snacks. Bread with garlic. Okay. Burger. Nachos. Okay. Main course. Spaghetti. Yes. Pizza. Yes. Seafood. Okay. Yes. Desserts. Cheesecake, cheesecake with double E. Instead of just one S and double E, cheesecake. Okay. And remove the e, one S, remove one S. Okay. Cheesecake. Budin, ice cream, beer, Coke, and natural juice. Excellent. Okay, so... Let's go back. Let's go back to the main room. Let's go back. Okay. Thank you. All right, guys. So we're going to start by presenting. Okay, we are going to start by presenting. Do I have uh, team one? Ana, Carlos, Juan, Raul. Yes, I think that, yes, okay. So very good, team one, team one, okay? So Raul, who is going to present? Uh, you. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, I, I say all or, or what? Yes, in this case, he, do you have the, the the word document or something or or just on your notebook? No, I I I take some note. Notes. Okay. So let's okay. see. Okay. The starters. I write fried fried potatoes with cheese mm -hmm. and tortilla soup mm -hmm. and onion ring. Okay. Very good. The snacks? The next, the snacks. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. Protein bar, mm -hmm. rice cookie, mm -hmm. and fries bananas. Okay. And the next main course mm -hmm. 
uh, fish with vegetable, mm -hmm. uh, pas, I don't know what, how, how pronounce pasta, it is like similar in, in Spanish. No, the pronunciation should be pasta. Ah, okay, pasta and meat and chicken barbecue. Excellent. Desserts. And the, the next dessert, apple pie, lemon pie, and cheesecake. Okay, yes, very good. And the last one, drinks, horchata, uh, lemon with peppermint, and green tea. Okay, excellent. Okay, then thank you. Thank you, uh, Raul. That was team one. What is the name of your restaurant? I forget the name. <laughs> I don't write. Uh, maybe the name the restaurant is uh, Los Cebollines, uh, La Pizzeria, y Don Lee. Oh my God, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, perfect. All right, team two, thank you. Carlos and Rosa, who is going to present? Carlos or Rosa? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, do you have a word document or no? Yes. No. Yes. Okay. Share your screen. Oh, okay. Where's share the screen? Um, the mouse. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the starter, we have onion soup. A breath with garlic, chicken soup, and pretzels. Okay. And the snacks, we have uh, hamburgers, pizza, and hot dogs. Okay. Uh, the main course, uh, we have steak, and we try to, 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 uh, to we try to, to get at uh, this word, uh, churrasco, but I don't know if the same in English, uh, churrasco or steak? A steak. A steak, okay. Uh, pork ribs and grilled chicken. Grilled. Uh, grilled chicken, okay. In dessert, uh, we have cake, cheesecake, and pudding. Mm -hmm. Okay. In drinks, we have nat nat natural juice, mm -hmm. juice coffee and frozen. Okay, thank you, uh, Carlos. Now, uh, do not stop sharing, okay? Now, um, pronunciation, number 10, hamburger. And you are missing the R and you need to remove U. Remove the letter, uh, the second U, the one that is next to E, delete it, erase it, move, uh, remove it. What, I'm um, sorry. The second uh, you U. You have H, no, number 10, number 10. Uh, number 10, uh-huh. You have Hamburg, guess. Uh-huh, ah, okay. Yeah. The S. Remove yeah. the letter U. Quite la U, la segunda S. Mm -hmm. Yes, hamburger, like that. Ah, okay. Or ah, hamburgers okay. with S. Okay. Hamburg. Yes, now let me see. I saw, oh, I saw another one right here. Okay, dessert, double S. Tiene que ser con doble S, dessert. Okay. Yes. Now, 21, cheesecake, remove the letter S. Uh, the S. Yes. Uh... Oh, no, the thing is that it is to, uh, no. Okay, so now, cheese, uh, S-E, S-E, uh, -E. but déjale un espacio porque no va junto. Ah, okay. Yes, okay. Now, um, coffee. Coffee, guys, is with double E, double E. Ah, okay. Like that. Now, yes, perfect. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay. Yes, thank okay. you. Right. Yes, guys, we need to check the spelling, okay? Remember, we need to check the spelling. Okay, so let's see. Um, team number three. Team number three. 
It is Carlos Arias and Wilbur. Who is going to present? Okay, Wilbur. Okay, we didn't finish, but we had uh, three and almost four. Okay. I know, two and almost three, sorry. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, the starter, mm -hmm. we had a uh, bread with butter mm -hmm. and cheese sticks and crepa. Okay. Like a snacks. Uh, we have nachos and frying onion wings. Mm -hmm. It was missing here. Okay. Uh, main course, brief milk, hamburgers, fried chicken. Okay. Like a dessert, uh, apple pie, ice cream, and fruit with yogurt. Okay. Drink, uh, soda, tea, and use or lunch. Orange juice? Yes, correct. Well, okay. Orange juice, okay. Let me see. Um, I have one observation where on the main course, the third one, fried chicken, but it is F-R-I-E-D. E-D, no. Yes, by that. And let me ask you something. Uh, well, on drinks, orange juice. Okay. Orange juice, okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Orange juice. Yes, thank you. And on the main course, let me ask you, what is brief melt? Uh, quería decir... Uh, uh, Como carne asada. Oh, okay. So that is grilled meat. Nada que ver entonces esto. Eh, well, no. In this case, it could be grilled uh, meat or it could be roast beef. I don't know if that is oh, the one that I've seen. Okay, roast beef. Okay, roast beef. Remove the letter R like that. Okay. Excellent. Okay, very good. Okay, rose beef. Okay, guys, very good. Now I'm going to take the attendance. Okay, and then we are going to continue with the other ones. So say present when you hear your name. Ana Lorena Lovato. Present. Thank you. Andrea Sofia Benitez. Present. Thank you. Blanca Jennifer Torres. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present. Thank you. Carlos Eduardo Torres. Present. Thank you. Eh, Carlos Francisco Arias Sanchez. Present. Thank you, Carlos. Cesar Homero Amaya. Cesar. Okay. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present. Yes, thank you, Edwin. Uh, Eulice Torres. Present. Thank you. Fátima Noemi Umaña. Present. Thank you, Fátima. Glenda Toledo. Present. Yeah. Thank you. José Salvador Bernal. Here I am. Thank you. Josman Serrano. Here, teacher. Thank you. Juan Francisco Salmeron. Present, teacher. Oh, thank you, Juan. Uh, Karen Lisset. Present, teacher. Thank you, Karen. Catherine Indira Velasquez. Catherine. Marlon Oswaldo Paniagua. Marlon. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Yes, Nelson. Rafael Alexander Serna. Present. Thank you. Raúl Ernesto González. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez. Present. Thank you. Susana Milena. Yes, I think that's Susana. Present. Yeah. 
Walter David Díaz. Walter. Walter. Wilber Alberto Pérez. Present. Thank you. And Yancy Azucena. Yes, I think that. I okay. okay. All right, guys. So let's continue with the third, no, number four, team number four, Edwin Josman Salvador. Yes, Nelson, I, I took the attendance. Okay, uh, Edwin, Josman, and Salvador, who is going to present? Teacher, with, with my uh, class, my name is Susana. No, Edwin. Oh, really? Susana? Okay, so, we, oh, yes, I can see that. Yeah. Okay, so Susana and Hosman, who is going to present? Okay, go, Susana. Okay. Okay. Um, our restaurant is Serrano's restaurant. Mm -hmm. The starters are potato soup, onion rings, green salad. The snacks are bread with garlic, burger, <clears throat> and nachos. Okay. The main course are spaghetti, pizza, and seafood. As dessert are cheesecake, pudding, and ice cream. Mm -hmm. And the last, the drinks are beer, Coke, and natural juice. Okay, thank you. All right, so now observations, spaghetti and pudding, okay? So in this case, a spaghetti is going to be S P A G H G H. Remove you like that. A spaghetti. Okay. Now, pudding <laughs> in English is going to be P U. D D I N G G instead of B P P. Ah, okay. Pudding, yes, like that. Perfect. Okay. okay, excellent. Well done. Thank you, Serrano's restaurant. Okay, awesome. All right, guys, let's move and let's go to the listening exam. We are going to take the listening exam, okay? Let's move to the listening. Um, please go to the spreadsheet. Váyase la hoja de su trabajo aquí, de trabajo, de donde tenemos toda la información. Vámonos a la hoja y vamos a tomar el examen de listening, okay? Easy, piece of cake. Para los que no se pueden ir a la hoja como inmediatamente, ya lo mandé al chat, aquí en, en Zoom. ¿okay? Recuerde, póngale su nombre, por favor, su nombre completo. Y la contraseña es listening en letras mayúsculas. Siempre va a ser en letras mayúsculas, ¿ok? Si no, no le va a agarrar el código. Okay. Open it and when you are in, say I'm in. ¿Ok? I'm in. Thank you. You will see that, thank you. You will see that this is so easy, guys. It's not difficult, okay? It's so easy. Only 19 seconds. Okay. Yeah, don't worry. It's short. I mean, I mean, I okay. I I, You're teacher. in. Okay. Teacher, uh, the password uh, is with capital letter? Yes, please. Different? Okay. Capital letter. Yeah. Okay, guys. One minute and I'm going to play the recording. I'm going to play this audio twice. If you need a third time, 
I'm going to ask you, okay? But if not, just two times. Si necesita tres veces, me dice. Si solamente son dos veces las que y usted ya tiene todas las respuestas, entonces ya no hay necesidad de una tercera vez que se repite el audio. ¿Ok? Bye. Ok, ¿ready? Teacher, uh, a mí no me ha caído todavía el, el link para ingresar. Eh, en, en el chat de aquí, de, de, de Zoom. En el chat de Zoom lo mandé. Ok, so who is not ready? Who is not? Teacher, before, before starting. Mm, ok, Glenda. Let me see. Déjame ver qué pasó con usted. I have just uh, 18 seconds. It is right? No, 18 minutes. Can you I, see a flash? Yes, but don't worry. The, 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 the audio is just 45 seconds. Ustedes tienen 18 minutos aquí, pero el, el audio solo dura como 45 segundos o un minuto. No se le va a acabar el tiempo ahorita. Nada más que veo que algunos ingresaron. Eh, creo que fue antes y veo que unos al azar eligieron la respuesta. Ok, pero no, recuerde que yo voy a poner el audio. Ok, no puede elegir al azar porque no tiene el audio. Ok, vaya. Eh, Glenda, uh, entre de nuevo y ponga su nombre completo. Completo. Eh, también, eh, bueno, en ese caso, Eulice, solo ponga Eulice y pone Torres, solo Eulice Torres. Eh, let me know. Let me see, I'm going to share my screen. Okay. Glenda, ready? Mm -hmm. yes. yes okay perfect guys so here we go okay pay attention okay pay attention and look at the at the questions okay so here we go hi my name is carl nice to meet you nice to meet you my name is francisco what francisco but all my friends and family back in Peru call me Pancho. Okay, Pancho, so tell me about your family. Well, I have seven brothers and six sisters. Wow, that is a big family. So are you the oldest, Pancho? No, I am the second oldest in my family. So what do your parents do? My father is a taxi driver in Lima, Peru. It is hard job, but he works hard to support the family. How about your mother? She helps run a small family store with some of my older brothers and sisters. What kind of store? We mainly sell food like bread, eggs, soft drinks, rice, sugar and cookies. Things that people buy every day. Okay. The second time. La segunda vez. Okay. Here we go. Hi, my name is Carl. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. My name is Francisco. What? Francisco. But all my friends and family back in Peru call me Pancho. Okay, Pancho. So tell me about your family. Well, I have seven brothers and six sisters. Wow, that is a big family. So are you the oldest, Pancho? No, I am the second oldest in my family. So what do your parents do? My father is a taxi driver in Lima, Peru. It is hard job, but he works hard to support the family. How about your mother? She helps run a small family store with some of my older brothers and sisters. What kind of store? We mainly sell food like bread, 
eggs, saffron, rice, sugar, and cookies. Things that people buy every day. Do you need me to play it? Yes, can you repeat it, please? Okay, here we go. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Hi, my name is Carl. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. My name is Francisco. What? Francisco. But all my friends and family back in Peru call me Pancho. Okay, Pancho. So tell me about your family. Well, I have seven brothers and six sisters. Wow, that is a big family. So are you the oldest, Pancho? No, I am the second oldest in my family. So what do your parents do? My father is a taxi driver in Lima, Peru. It is hard job, but he works hard to support the family. How about your mother? She helps run a small family store with some of my older brothers and sisters. What kind of store? We mainly sell food like bread, eggs, saffron, rice, sugar, and cookies. Things that people buy every day. Okay, ready or no? I'm not sure uh, uh, in one, but... But okay. Okay, guys, don't worry, okay? Send your answers, okay? So you are going to see if we need to improve or how, okay? So let's see. Um, let me stop sharing and let me see. Let me see your... Let me see your, your scores, okay? Very good. I see most of you got 100. So you see, that was easy. Let me see. Okay, most of you got 100. Was it difficult? Was it difficult, guys? Or easy? Or confusing? I think the noise in the in the audio. Yeah, you know, but it's Most part of the of the, of the challenge. Mm -hmm. I have a problem because uh, when when the Pancho say the the number of the siblings, mm -hmm. uh, I write, but I select the correct. <laughs> Oh my God! Okay. Yeah, me too. I didn't hear where it's from. from oh, but uh, but uh, I didn't know. But I guessed. I guessed. Okay. Yes. All right. But well done because I can see that many of you got one hundred. Okay. Probably some of you felt kind of difficult, right? But I mean, you got one hundred. So it could be that sometimes, of course you are going to feel the listening kind of difficult, but at the end, you get a good score. You just need to trust what you hear, right? That's it. So in this case, uh, very good. Okay, I'm happy because most of you got 100. All right, perfect. So tomorrow we are going to take another one, okay? So let's see. Well, right now, let's continue with the class and let's move to this. Um, actually, how do we call, how do we say factura in English? Invoice. Bill. 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 Okay, the bill. Como la, la cuenta, cuando pedimos la cuenta. Okay, so the bill. This is a bill, all right? So let's see, we have a bill right here and I, did, I need uh, one volunteer to read all of these numbers, quantities, and all of that. Can I read it? Okay. Um, Yes, I think that you said that. Yes, I said, okay. Downtown Cafe, number of people, two. May 7, 2007. One salad, $4.55. One sandwich, $3.50. One hamburger, $7.35. One order of French fries, $2.25. One piece of pie, $3.45. And two, co two cups of coffee, $1.50. We have total for $22.60 plus taxes, which is sales taxes, $8.25%, $1.87. Total payment should be, or total bill, my bad, 
$24.47. Um, $1.87 is because they paid taxes and money for the government. Perfect, all right, very good. So in this case, guys, the tax is the money for the government, like in El Salvador, right? So we have taxes, mm -hmm. okay, very good. So this is a bill, basically, all right? This is a bill, and we also have a tip. What is a tip? Glenda, can you please help us reading? A tip. What a tip. Customers leave tips for service. A tip is a thank you for a good service. A tip is between the 50% and 20% of the subtotal. Subtotal. Perfect. Thank yeah. you. Yes. So, um, do you leave tips when you go to restaurants? Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, right? Okay. Well, sometimes the tip is already included. Yeah. yeah. On the bill, yes, most of the time. Okay. In the United States is obligation. It is an obligation. Here in our country, if we go to Pizza Hut, if we go to Tony Roma's, uh, Pollo Campero, all of those restaurants, they do, in they do include tips. The thing is that we do not see it, but they do include all of this. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. All right. So now let's move. And we have a short um, exam, okay? But we are going to take it here. So based on this bill, all right? So let's see if we can answer those questions. Number one, can you please help us reading number one, eh, Raul? Okay, how much is a hamburger at the downtown cafe? Uh, seven. Point thirty five dollars. Sentence. Okay. Yes. Okay. So in this case, we are going to say seven dollars and thirty five cents. Okay. Seven dollars and thirty five sentence. cents. Sentence. No sentence. Cents. Okay. Cent. Perfect. Okay, again, okay. How much is a hamburger at the downtown cafe, Raul? Is seven dollar with thirty-five cents. Excellent. Yes. Okay. Well done. And number two, can you please help us reading that one, Edwin, and give us the answer? How much is a cup of coffee at the downtown cafe? How much? Coffee, two cup of coffee, and uh, $1.50. $1.50. And how much is a cup of coffee at the downtown cafe? Just one, a cup of coffee. What do you think? 75 cents. Yes. Perfect. 75 cents um okay number three susana how much is the tax on this bill it is one dollar 87 cents perfect okay and look at the picture and how much is the tip well number five can you please give us the answer nelson Look at the picture and how much is the tip? Okay, wait a moment, please. Yes. I can see the tip. <laughs> you cannot see it. Okay, somebody else now. So number four, let's move to number four because I think that I, I missed that one. So how much is the total? Me. Yes. Yeah. Uh, $24.47. Uh, Excellent. So now what is a tip? Yeah. So a tip is between 50% 50 uh, 50 
and 20% of the subtotal, okay? 15% uh, and 20%. It could be 15 or 20, all right? So in this case of the subtotal, so the subtotal is $22.60. So let's say that the tip is 15%. How much is the tip? Who is good at numbers here? $3 with 39 cents. Okay, very good. Exactly. So you see, even though you don't see it right there, but I mean, with the information that we have right here, we can go ahead and, and um, actually take that out, right? The T, it's between 15% and 20%. All right, so very good, yeah. So now let's move and let's practice this conversation, okay? We are going to put the conversation in the correct order. So we already have number one and number one is, are you ready to order? Where can we add number two? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. Please bring me a sandwich and some coffee. Perfect. That is number two. What about number three? Would you like to No. Thank you. No, thank you. No, thank Perfect. you. No, thank okay. You. Excellent. Okay. So this is like a common conversation. Okay. So uh, are you are you ready to order? Okay. Are you ready to order? Oh, yes, I am. Okay. Please bring me traigame. Okay. Please bring me a sandwich and some coffee. Yeah. So then would you like a salad? No, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. The same thing that whenever you go to Pizza Hut right here in, in our country, and they say, ¿Está listo para ordenar? Are you ready to order? You said you said, sí. Eh, tráigame esto. Voy a querer esto. That is, please bring me. Okay, bring me. Okay, then would you like a salad? No, thank you. They always ask you if you would like something else, right? If you would like to add something else. So then let's move to this exercise. So we have server and customer. Okay, let's see. From those words that we have on this chart, yeah, we are going to complete the conversation. Number one, are you ready? To order. To order. 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 Okay. Yes. In order for you to make it, I would say, easier for you to pronounce this word, because I know that sometimes is difficult, you can say order. 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 Mm -hmm. Order. Okay, so are you ready to order customer? Yes, I yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay, yes, I am. Okay, then please bring me. Bring me. Bring me. Excellent. Bring me. Excellent. Cyber. Would would you like a salad? Excellent. Would cool. you we like? We already have. We already have you right there. Cool. Would you cool. like a salad, customer? No. No, thank you. thank you. No, thank you. Uh -huh. Number five, cerebral. Anything to, Anything to drink? Anything to drink? Excellent. Anything to drink? Uh -huh. Customer? Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Please, Please bring me bring some me. milk. Excellent. Please so bring me some, some milk. 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 Perfect. In cerebral? Yes, of course. Yes, yes of, course. of course. Very good. Okay, I need two volunteers. One is going to be the cerebral and the other one is the customer. Me. Okay, Susanna and Nelson. Susanna, you are the cerebral and Nelson, the customer. Okay. okay. Are you ready to order? Yes, I am. Please bring me a sandwich. 
Would you like a salad? No, thank you. Anything to drink? Yes, please bring me some milk. Yes, of course. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Now somebody will need two volunteers to recreate this conversation, but with a different type of uh, meal. Okay, ask for a hamburger or a, I, I don't know. You need to add a different, um, I would say, main course. Okay, so who wants to do that? Hmm? Me, teacher. Okay, thank you. Raul and Ana. Okay, Ana, you are the server and Raul, you are the customer. Go. Okay. Are you ready to order? Yes, I am. Please bring me a pizza. Would you like a hamburger? Uh, no, thank you. Anything, anything to drink? Yes, <laughs> please bring me a, a natural juice. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Easy piece of cake, right? Mm -hmm. A natural use. Perfect. All right. Somebody else? Two more? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Carlos Eduardo, you are the server and I need a customer. Who wants to try? Thank you, Carlos Arias. Go. Um, are you ready to order? Yes, I am. Please bring me two pupusas. Ah, would you like a soup? Mm -hmm. No, thank you. Um, anything to drink? Yes, please bring me a uh, soda. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, yes, of course. Thank you. Perfect. You're welcome. Excellent, okay, very good. All right, so you see, easy. And that's how you need to be able to use the vocabulary that we are learning, okay? It's not only for us to complete right here, it's for you to practice it and, and have it here, right? So very good. Now let's move and let's move to the conversation time. But first I'm going to ask you the first question, okay? And I would like to know if you're able to remember simple past, okay? So who can tell me or who can tell us what do you have for dinner yesterday? What did you have for dinner yesterday? I had for dinner yesterday a uh, bean soup. Okay, bean soup, okay. You have, okay, perfect. Somebody else, thank you, Wilbur. Yeah. I ate for my dinner uh, oat with strong, uh, with blueberry and milk. Excellent. Okay. No, milk, no honey. <laughs> honey. All right. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Well done. Okay, guys. Now. Uh, okay, so we are going to practice, okay, questions in the simple past. Let's see if you remember, okay? So what did you have for dinner yesterday? What was the last movie you saw? How do you travel to work today? By car, by bus, mm, walking, I don't know, by bicycle, by bike. How? Okay, then... What did you do today at work? I want to know what activities, okay, you did today at work. Then whom did you talk with today? With your boss, with your coworkers, with your uh, probably, I don't know, um, sons, right, daughters, okay, wife, etc. Yeah. What did you do before our class? I want to know what do you do before our class, okay? I want to know what you do, okay? So then we are going to practice um, those six questions or those five questions. Omit this one if you want, but if not, practice it as well with your partner. Do you have any question? Any doubt right now? No, I don't. Okay, 
Perfect. So in this case, we are going to practice with those questions. If you don't know something, please ask. And if you see your partner, guys, si usted, I'm going to say this in, in Spanish, okay? Si usted ve que su compañero está como, eh, necesita como esa ayuda que a veces eh, tal vez no sabe cómo decir algo y usted puede apoyarlo, hágalo, okay? Ayúdele a su compañero, ¿ya? Yeah? So, si tiene preguntas, siempre eh, pida la ayuda, okay, a, a mí, y yo voy a llegar a su salón, okay? So, let's move. Let's move, uh, but I'm going to recreate those and you are going to practice with different uh, classmates. Yeah. Hello? Yes. Hi, Elisa. Hi, teacher. What happened? <laughs> no, uh, perseverar you, but. Oh, and le llegó la invitación. Do you have the invitation? No. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay. Ya lo veo todos. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Ana and Raúl, Andrea and Blanca, Nelson and Wilbur, eh, Glenda. Glenda and Susana, I'm going to NC, okay, Glenda and Susana, Glenda, Susana, and Jensen. Eh, Ulisse, creo que no tiene la, la invitación, Ulisse, entonces lo voy a mover a la dos. Number two, okay, I see Carlos, Carlos Arias. Are you there, Carlos Arias? Juan, Fátima. Ok. En Salvador. Salvador, what's, uh, what's going on? I think that the internet connection. Tal vez la, la conexión a internet. No sé, fíjate que yo ingreso a la sala y me regreso acá al salón sí. principal. Sí, vaya, permítame. Entonces, en este caso, permítame. Okay, I think that they are done. Sí, lo, lo regresa. Pero no sé por qué. Quiero ver. Mire ahora. Intentaré. Let's try. Pero le da aceptar o, o le da rechazar. Le doy aceptar. Eh, hace el, el, simula el cambio, pero luego vuelve a la, a la, a la sesión principal. Qué extraño. Así me ha pasado toda la noche. Ahorita estoy aceptando para la sala 7. Vamos a ver. Sí. Lo regresa. Creería yo que tal vez es por la conexión de internet. Sí, yo creo que sí. Sí, pero demasiadas veces me ha sacado el sí. internet. Sí, de igual manera yo estuve teniendo bastante problemas. E incluso todavía tengo problemas de internet también. Vaya. Ok, so let me ask you, ok? We are going to practice here. So, eh, Salvador, what was the last movie you saw? Eh, I... I watch mm -hmm. El Gato con Botas, no sé cómo se dice. Ok, ok. Did you like it? I, I like. Yes. Me, me, me cuesta decir las cosas. Don't worry, no se preocupe porque estamos practicando. Mm -hmm. Eh. I like the cat. Mm -hmm. Appreciate your mm -hmm. friends. Okay. Okay. Very good. So he appreciates his friends. His friends. Excellent. Mm -hmm. 
And how did you travel to work today? How? Uh, I I don't travel. You don't travel. You work at home. Uh, no, I my work is near my house. Oh my God, Salvador, you are so lucky. Uh, ten step. I walk. Yes, yes. Okay, so say I walk. I walk. Excellent. Very good. Okay, excellent. So you don't need to, to travel, so you don't see the traffic jam. Usted no ve trabazón, no pasa nada de eso, Salvador. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Excellent. Okay. So you are lucky. Eh? Bien afortunado. Okay. Excellent. Mm -hmm. All right. So, and tell me, what did you do today at work? Uh, repeat, please. Yes. What did you do today at work? I first, I... I, my, my work, mm -hmm. in my work, mm -hmm. I read much. Oh, I, I read a lot. I read a lot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Be, what else? Because I am a pastor. Okay. And I am studying the Bible. Okay. For to teach okay. to others. Excellent. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you read. I read. I I read. I read. El pasado. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I read. Excellent. I read. Mm -hmm. And now, whom did you talk with today? Hmm. Uh, I I talk with my friend mm -hmm. Esther. Excellent. Very good. Yes. And what did you do before our class? I I have a dinner? I had dinner. I have dinner. I had. I, I, I had dinner. I had dinner, okay. And all right. And what are you going to do after this class? To rest. <laughs> I rest, okay. I, how do you say, uh, iré a descansar? I am going to rest. I'm going to rest. Excellent. Okay. And at what time are you going to wake up tomorrow? Mm. Seven, 7 p.m. Oh, 7 p.m. or 7 a.m.? Eh, la hora de dormir me preguntó o levantarme. Oh, yeah, wake up. Ah, wake up. Mm. Eh, 6 p.m.? Oh, 6 p.m. No, six, six a.m. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, okay. Perfect. Can you tell me what are you going to do tomorrow in the morning? I. I go in. Say. I am no. going. Yes. I am going. I am going to. I am going to. Desayunar. <laughs> okay, I am going to have breakfast. I am going to have breakfast. Breakfast. Perfect. Okay, well done. Okay, so let me see. Let's try once again. Voy a nuevamente de mandarlo a otro salón para ir a ver a los demás. A ver si esta vez si podemos. Okay. Gracias por su tiempo. All right. Thank you. Let me see.
No, we can't. No, no se puede. Yo creería que es por la, por la, yeah, because of the internet connection. Okay, give me one minute, okay? Give me one minute. I'll be back. Okay. Just let me, let me, let me, let me see here. Okay. ¿Con quién? Talk. Ajá, ¿con quién hablaste hoy? Yes. I talked with. Talk with. with. Mm -hmm. I well, talked with my boss and my uh, partners. Excellent. My co-workers? My co-workers. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, me too. Today I I talk with my team and we have. Sí, eso sí lo tengo. Yes, yes. Teacher, teacher is, uh, is only only three questions. Uno, six. Ah, okay. <laughs> I just have three. Come on, Wilbur, in the class, <laughs> the link for the class. <laughs> I I, I no, look for I, the for the, the, the link this in is my special. browser, but I yes, don't okay, I can't Barry, find it. Barry, okay, let me let like say a co-worker. <laughs> okay, but but there you go. This is the link. Look in the chat. So that is the link. Okay, that one is the link for the classes. So you can open it in bookmark it. Póngalo en favorito para que ya lo tenga en la computadora. Y solo se va ese link y se va a la fecha de ahora. A Wednesday, February 1st. And you open the one that says class 3. Perdónenos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Me incorporé tarde ese, pero sí se acordó, vea, que le había dicho. Yes, 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 I know. Sí, lo siento. No worry. Okay, yes, listen. Oh. February. Okay. Mm -hmm. Voy a compartir ahorita, vamos a ver. Dale. Okay. Mm -hmm. Entrado todavía, pero veamos. Perfect. Uh -huh. Entonces sería aquí. No, class three. Class three. Aquí, listen and practice. No, class three. Uh, class three. Uh -huh. yeah. class, class three. Class three. Ahí está that one. el that link. One. That one. Go ahead. Correct. And there you go. This is uh, the class. Okay. Ah, okay. I find it. Mm -hmm. I found it. Yeah, you okay. found it. Okay, this is the... Yeah. Okay, yes. Me perdí un buen. Oh, yes. <laughs> Scroll down. Uh... Those. Okay. Number Fire. Four. Let's follow with it. For ah, question. What did you do today at work? Okay. Um, well, my work uh, is to install a uh, CCTV. Mm -hmm. and really? Aha, uh -huh, an alarm. So uh, we visit uh, clients and and we start to to install uh, that system. You install uh, you install a camera uh, on the como digo poste. <laughs> post post No sé, pero no sé si tú instalas en los postes, las PTZ y todo eso. Mm, sí, sí, sí. Okay. Post to the loose lamp post or electricity post. Oh, okay, electricity post. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you install uh, cameras on the electricity post? No, usually, I usually install uh, um, 
in houses? In building, building houses, okay. uh -huh. mm -hmm. but not in, in... Outside uh, this. Outside, ah, okay. Uh -huh. Outside like this. No. Okay. For me, I'm afraid the electricity. <laughs> I am I, I can I can't uh, do this this installation this installation on the electricity poles. <laughs> okay, I you work or on your home? Mm, never. Okay. Yeah, okay. No one <laughs> because I, I am afraid. Okay, no. but the question is are you working? Yes. Okay. Uh, what did you uh, ah me? Me, okay. Yeah, Today is, is a normal day, a lot of meetings, but uh, today I have a, I attend a lot of uh, clients, tickets, requirements yeah. of the users, and I work uh, like as a black today <laughs> because because uh, this day I go uh, I go to the. Uh, I said, me ido como digo, oficina, perdón. To the office? the office? Ah, yes. I go to the office <laughs> uh, the rest of the day of the week. Uh, I work at home. Mm, okay. Uh, the next one. Whom did you talk with you with today? Mm, I just work with my co-workers all day because we... Okay, guys, so we are going to continue with our class. Uh, let's see, let's wait for the other ones to join. Um, okay, yes. Okay, let me ask you guys, what do you remember about fumbles? What do you remember about coordinating conjunctions? Huh? What do you remember about this? Do you remember the one that shows contrast? Do you remember about fumbles? Mm -hmm. Do you remember about fumbles? Yes or no? Yes. Yes? Okay. So now let me ask you. If I ask you right now, which fanboy shows contrast? Which one? Which of this? But. 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 Perfect. Yes. And which explains reason or purpose? For. For. Excellent. And which indicates effect, result, or consequence? So. Yes. Uh, and which adds one thing to another? And. Excellent. And which and. presents an alternative or a choice? Or. 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 No. or. Okay. Very good. So now, let's see. Um, can you please help us reading the examples, uh, Rafael? All of this. All of this, okay. Uh, I want to go to Italy for its culture. I love to eat chicken and I love to drink coke. She doesn't like shrimps or nor does she like fish. I want to buy a new computer but I don't have any money. We can study English or we can go to the France. Mm -hmm. She is cute yet angry. Mm -hmm. I went to the cinema, so my mom bought the tickets. Perfect, okay. And those are coordinating conjunctions, okay? Fanboys, yeah? Don't forget about this. Tomorrow, we are going to take the, uh, the quiz that we have on this. Today, no, because it's almost time for us to go. We are going to take it tomorrow, okay? So, but now, let's move, and we are going to play with two letters and stop the bus, okay? But this time, it is a verb in present, a fruit, and an adjective, yeah? So, let's see. 
Um, we are going to play with two letters because it's almost time for us to go. All right. So uh, stop the bus. You say uh, stop the bus once you have verb in present, fruit, and adjective. Okay. But I think that we are going to add another category. So we are going to make it um, more difficult. Okay. So we are going to add probably an um, animal. Okay. So four things. So here we go. Uh, the first letter is going to be letter uh, E. Well, yes, fruit or vegetable, okay? Fruit or vegetable with the letter E. Verb in present, adjective, and animal. One minute, okay, one minute. Say uh, stop the bus once you finish. Letter E. Mm -hmm. Verb in present, fruit, adjective, and animal with the letter E. Or vegetable, fruit or vegetable. No? Stop the bus. Okay. Raul, let's see. Verb in present. Uh, eraser. E Erase, okay. Ah, okay. Erase, uh, fruit of vegetable, egg. Egg? Egg. Spell that. E-G-G. -E -G. Oh, egg, egg. egg. Uh, but, th but that is not a fruit or a vegetable. No, okay. Egg is the same. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Me too. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. okay. No. <laughs> but that is not, not uh, it's not fruit nor vegetable. Okay, so in this case, guys, eggplant. What is eggplant? Ah, it's a, a vegetable it's purple. A, it is a, a vegetable, purple vegetable, a purple vegetable. Very good. Do you like eggplant? No. Yes. It no, is delicious. Like it. Yes, it is delicious. Okay, adjective. <laughs> yes, adjective. Elegant. Elegant and animal. Elephant. 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 Okay, very good. Mm, okay, guys. So let's see. Well, it's almost time for us to go. Okay, so that's why probably we are going to stop right here. Let me ask you, okay, do you have any question about today's class? Something that is not clear about today's class? No? Okay, let me see who actually, um, let me see the feedback. Uh, let me see, give me one second, okay. Um, okay, so is, let me see. Is Blanca Jennifer Torres here? Blanca? Present. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. So please stay with me for the feedback. Okay. So then the other ones, hey guys, if you don't have any question, thank you very much for connecting today. And I will see you back tomorrow. Okay. Have a good night. Take care. Rest. Bye, Bye teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Take care. Good night, guys. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, okay. All right. So, Blanca, how are you? How do you feel today? I'm fine. Okay. Blanca, uh, do you want me to have this feedback in Spanish or in English? Do you feel more comfortable in English or in Spanish? In Spanish. In Spanish. Okay, perfect. Blanca, ¿cómo está? ¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo se encuentra ese día? Muy bien. Muy bien. 
Vale, perfecto, Blanca. Este espacio básicamente es para conocer un poquito más, es para hablar acerca de, de la clase, de cómo le ha parecido la clase, cómo se siente, ¿verdad? Ya que es muy importante para nosotros, ¿verdad? Y para mí, que soy su maestra, saber uh -huh. cómo se siente. Bien, Blanca, eh, dígame qué le ha parecido la clase, la dinámica de la clase, cuénteme acerca de usted, si había estudiado inglés anteriormente, eh, etc. Ok, eh, parece bien porque eh, vamos interactuando. Me gustan bastante los listening, como el que hicimos ahora. Eh, llevo un año aprendiendo inglés, okay. pero como a veces no he seguido el mes, este, termina un curso o el otro. Sí. Por ejemplo, en este último ya pasó un mes y me cuesta bastante, pero la verdad es que estoy interesada en aprender. Ok, perfecto. Eh, ¿Qué es lo que más eh, le cuesta? ¿Qué es lo que dice usted? Dice de que eso sí, yo necesito pues mejorarlo. ¿Qué es lo que más le cuesta en el idioma? Um, es expresar, porque yo cuando lo escucho, logro entenderlo, escribirlo puedo, uh -huh. pero en el momento de hablar, no. Okay. Puedo prepararlo antes y hablarlo, pero en el momento... No tengo las palabras, no encuentro cómo decirlas. Ok, bien Blanca. Eh, ahora le hago una pregunta. Eh, si nos cuesta vocabulario, ¿qué estamos haciendo en este momento aparte de las clases, verdad? ¿Qué estamos haciendo nosotros para mejorar esta área que nos cuesta? ¿Ve películas en inglés o lee en inglés? ¿O qué es lo que se está haciendo? Oigo música en inglés y este, la repito. Ok. Perfecto, excelente. Ahora, eh, ¿hay algo de la clase que no haya comprendido y que usted me diga, teacher, yo quiero que me explique esto de nuevo porque en realidad no lo comprendí muy bien? Me costó un poquito de la parte de los fumbles. Ok, perfecto. Eh, ¿Y tiene alguna pregunta específica en eso? Mm, que quizás me cuesta saber en qué momento lo voy a utilizar. Okay. Eh, ya si no había visto esto igual en una clase anterior, pero me costó también poder comprenderlo y revisando los ejemplos que hice en esa vez estaban malos. También. Ya que entiendo un poquito más, me doy cuenta que estaban malos los que ah. hice en esa vez. Ok, bien. Eh, los fanboys, eh, en este caso, déjenme, voy a compartirles la pantalla para que puedan observar. Bien, los fanboys básicamente son conjunciones, ¿sí? Los fanboys en inglés son coordinating conjunctions. ¿Qué es esto en, en español, verdad? Para que se nos haga un poquito más fácil en este momento porque estamos en el feedback, ¿ok? Ahora, eh, bueno. coordinating conjunctions, básicamente, eh, Blanca, son esas conjunciones que coordinan nuestras ideas. Cuando nosotros hablamos en español, siempre hablamos también con conjunciones que coordinan nuestras ideas. Por ejemplo, decir, eh, en este caso, si yo quiero decir, eh, quiero, ir a, quiero ir a Italia por su cultura. Entonces, ese por, ¿verdad? Porque me está uniendo una idea, ese por es una conjunción. I want to go to Italy for its culture. ¿Ok? Por su cultura. ¿Ok? Ahora, si yo quiero decir... Me gusta la avena o me gusta el chocolate, ¿ok? Unámosla con una conjunción diciendo me gusta la avena y me gusta el chocolate. Sería I love oats and I love chocolate. Entonces ese I es en. Ahora, si yo quiero decir, no me gustan los camarones, no me gustan los camarones ni el pollo, ¿ok? Para decir uh -huh. algo. I don't like shrimps, nor do I like chicken. Este nor significa ni. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. El ni. Y la estructura siempre va a ser el verbo auxiliar del presente simple porque ve ese ejemplo, ¿verdad? Y le va a poner el sujeto y va a poner el verbo en su forma base. 
Okay. Okay. Ahora, si yo quiero decir, quiero comprar una computadora, pero no tengo nada de dinero. Ese pero es but. Uh -huh. Entonces, I want to buy a new computer, but, pero I don't have any money. No tengo dinero. Luego tenemos uh -huh. or, que or significa o. Oh. Entonces, podemos decir, we can study English or we can go to France. Two options, dos opciones. Podemos estudiar inglés o nosotros podemos ir a Francia. Una elección. Ese uh -huh. o entre dos elecciones es or en inglés. Uh -huh. Y luego tenemos yet. Yet es una conjunción que nos ayuda a contrastar también. Y esto es but. Este yet, aunque diga yet, es como decir but. Y que era but. Pero. Pero. Entonces, si yo digo, she is cute, yet angry. Estoy diciendo, ella es linda, pero enojada. Uh -huh. Este jet que usted pone en el medio también significa pero. Y ahora, el so es como decir entonces, de esta forma, por lo tanto. ¿Ok? I went to the cinema. Yo fui al cine. Cinema es cine en nuestro español. Yo uh -huh. fui al cine. Uh -huh. Por lo tanto, entonces, mi mamá compró los tickets. Entonces, las conclusiones nos ayudan a coordinar nuestras ideas. Así como uh -huh. estas, son específicas para coordinar y enlazar, enlazar sus ideas. ¿Sí? Eh, ahora, con esta explicación le queda un poquito más claro yo sé que todavía existen dudas sí. porque es normal, ¿verdad? Porque cuando uno practica es donde uno se le va quedando. Pero con esta explicación que le he brindado, ¿se le ha quedado un poquito más claro lo que es las coordinating conjunctions? Sí, me queda más claro. Ok, perfecto. Entonces, en ese caso, eh, vamos a seguir practicando con este tema porque sé que es un tema que a muchos pues, nos ha costado y yo sé que a bastantes pues tal vez tienen dudas con esto. No se preocupe, vamos a seguir haciendo repasos, ¿verdad? Y todo. Pero por el momento, eh, sería como básicamente eso. Son conjunciones que nos ayudan a enlazar y coordinar nuestras ideas en el idioma inglés. ¿Ok? okay. Bien. ¿Tiene alguna otra pregunta, alguna duda hasta ahorita? Quizás también un poco el de, el de la que vimos con did. ¿En qué momento voy a contestar con I did o I was? Oh, ok. Usted me habla del um, pasado simple. Ajá, ajá correcto, de estas preguntas. Ok. Um, ¿Se recuerda en algún momento haber visto el pasado simple o todavía no lo ha visto? Sí, sí, vi cuando estábamos, pero en eso igual me confundió bastante. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Vaya. Con el pasado simple eh, tenemos nosotros los tiempos verbales, ¿verdad? Tenemos presente y pasado. Entonces, no sé si le dieron una lista de verbos o usted tiene una lista de verbos, no lo sé. Eh, tiene. Vaya. Entonces, la lista que utile, utiliza, you are going to use, ok. En el pasado simple es donde dice simple past. Entonces, uh -huh. el did, el did lo va a utilizar cuando usted quiere decir hice. No lo va a utilizar siempre, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Porque cuando estamos hablando en oraciones positivas, por ejemplo, si usted quiere decir yo hice mi tarea ayer, entonces ahí sí uh -huh. va a utilizar el did. I did my homework yesterday, ¿verdad? Pero si usted quiere decir, yo comí sándwich ayer, ¿cómo va a decir? I, I ate. ate. Uh, en pasado. Uh -huh. El pasado en de eat, que sería the eat. Eight. Eight. Uh -huh. Correcto. Entonces, y así va, eh, pero es con los verbos. Por ejemplo, si usted dice, yo bebí agua ayer. 
I, pasado de, de beber, de drink, drink. Uh -huh. I drank water yesterday. ¿Sí? Entonces, es importante que nos aprendamos los verbos. ¿Ok? Luego, el did solo lo va a utilizar cuando esté diciendo hice, hice, ¿ok? Cuando sea oraciones uh -huh. positivas, correcto. Uh -huh. okay. Sí. Entonces, si yo le pregunto, what was the last movie you saw? Le estoy preguntando, ¿cuál fue la última película que usted vio? Porque so es el pasado de sí, que es ver. Entonces, le estoy preguntando, ¿cuál fue la última película que usted vio? Y para que usted me responda, Blanca, sería The last movie that I saw is eh, Pocahontas. ¿Ok? Y usted empieza a utilizar el pasado simple. Pero yo sé que eh, con el tiempo se nos olvida lo, lo, lo que estudiamos, ¿verdad? Y eso es muy eh, normal, así que no se preocupe. Todo esto lo vamos a cubrir, ¿ok? Todo esto lo vamos a ir cubriendo poco a poco, tal vez recordando algunos temas que se nos han olvidado. Y es muy importante que cuando usted tenga alguna pregunta o alguna duda, siempre me la haga, siempre. ¿Ok? Yes, ok, vaya. Antes que nos vayamos, ¿hay alguna otra pregunta que tenga por el momento? ¿Tiene no, algún problema con la plataforma? ¿Algo que me quiera comentar de eso? No, ayer accedí y empecé a trabajar. Excelente. Vaya, perfecto. Entonces, bueno, en este caso, si no tenemos ninguna otra pregunta, ninguna otra duda, Blanca, vamos a dejar este eh, pequeño feedback hasta aquí. Y yo pues le agradezco bastante por haberse conectado a este día y le agradecemos la, la responsabilidad, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, bueno, si no tiene nada más que, que agregar en este momento, le deseo que pase una muy buena noche, ¿ok? Have a good night. Good night. Ok.